friends now we will talk about span feature in LAN switching I've got five points here in the first point I'll talk about what is this feature what is remote span what is encapsulated remote span that is ER span in this lab I'll only cover span feature in the next lab I'll talk about R span and ER span is not possible because it is only supported in Nexus devices or in high-end models okay so what is the span feature this feature works within a switch uh, we've seen that many time we want to monitor the traffic which is entering or exiting out of the interface we want to capture that and uh, see it in a uh, local software like Wireshark or Ethereal so in this particular diagram let's say that the traffic which is entering from uh, these two ports like the traffic which is coming from switch 2 to switch 1 I want to monitor it and send it to my machine which is connected on switch 1 0 slash 1 port ok and in this PC I have Wireshark or Ethereal software enabled ok so I'll get all the logs and we'll be able to get a pcap file this is the extension of Wireshark file wherein I can check every packet types whatever is going on because company wants to you know overcome the threats sometimes there are cyber attacks okay so we want to analyze the traffic for safety purposes so span only works within a switch like the source and destination will be there within the switch R span means the destination can be in different switch in the LAN like here I want to capture traffic of these two ports and send it over to other switch which is the LAN ER span means it can uh, forward the traffic to different layer 3 domain ok so what it will do it will encapsulate the it will basically create a tunnel GR tunnel and send it over to different location I'll talk about span feature so let me take you to the diagram I mean task list so I want to copy the incoming traffic of interface this incoming traffic of interface this and send it over to destination f0 slash 1 I want to tell you one more thing even you can copy the traffic of VLANs as well apart from interfaces okay point number two says copy the traffic which is incoming the incoming traffic of this interface to fs0 slash 1 which is my destination I'll take you to switch 1 this is my switch 1 console if you want to check whether there are any existing sessions you can run the command show monitor session and session numbers or you can enter all there are no span configuration is present in system so this is the interface and this command works at global level that doesn't mean that it can it will apply on all of the interfaces it will depend what you want to configure like for sources f 0 slash 19 so the command is monitor session session number define the source my source is interface f 0 slash 19 okay I want to send it to destination f 0 slash 1 hit enter first monitor session 1 destination interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 here I did not specify whether it was incoming or outgoing I should have specified ok but let's check what happens when we don't specify the direction of traffic show monitor session 1 see it is saying it's a local session that is span source port is f 0 slash 19 in both directions and now this traffic of f 0 slash 19 will be sent over to f 0 slash 1 encapsulation is native ingress is disabled ingress means the destination port that is this will not be able to generate traffic okay that is let me take you to diagram 
let's say this is your destination 0 slash 1 it is actually getting traffic copied from switch like uh, I had port number 19 source like whatever traffic of this source was coming means going to switch 1 or going out via this port that is getting copied over to this destination but whatever traffic it will generate that will be ignored by switch means it is disabled so that is why ingress is disabled I'll cover this thing but as of now see the direction of traffic of app phase 0 slash 19 is both sides that is rx and tx if you want to make it one side first of all you have to remove that source command monitor session 1 source ok and re-enter the command with monitor session 1 source interface f0 slash 19 question mark mention incoming see rx means received traffic tx means transmitted incoming means rx ok hit enter now and and see show monitor session 1 now you say rx only this is the source ok and this is the destination and you want to check whether it is really receiving traffic do show interface f phase 0 slash 1 I mean the destination port and see this output it is saying monitoring it means it is a destination span port ok but see this line protocol is down it will not be able to generate traffic means the machine which is connected on this port will not be able to generate traffic so where is my task list here it is this is covered now copy outgoing traffic of fa0 slash 19 to fa0 slash 2 source sorry monitor I'll have to create new session monitor session 2 source interface fa0 slash 19 outgoing tx monitor session to destination if I enter the destination which is already being used in different session then it will not work so I have to enter different destination you can try the earlier one interface fa0 slash 1 see it is saying it is already being used so I would have to use different destination okay now let's check show monitor session 2 source port fa0 slash 19 tx only outgoing transferred destination is 0 slash 2 so it is done so you understood how to copy the traffic this one was destination okay point number 3 is covered copy traffic of VLAN 10 instead of physical interface we can uh, monitor the VLAN traffic as well let's first create VLAN 10 VLAN 10 and config t monitor session 3 source uh, vlan 10 if you don't mention the direction it will take both let's use both keywords specifically as well platform can support a maximum of two source sessions okay remember it also depends how many sessions can be supported per platform so let's delete monitor session 1 okay now I'll do monitor session 3 source VLAN and both directions monitor session 3 destination what is my destination destination is FA0 slash 3 this is my destination destination FA sorry interface FA0 slash 3 hit enter 
now let's check show monitor session 3 see vlan 10 source vlans both direction destination is this ingress disable means the traffic of 3 it is it will not be allowed now we will allow it in this fifth point it says also make sure that destination port that is in point number four that is this one should be able to generate traffic and tag it tag it to vlan let's say vlan 88 okay here i'll tell you one thing first of all this destination port if should be there in that vlan 88 uh, it is for point number four like in this case it is disabled now we need to modify that command first of all let's delete it we have to delete this line and re-enter with one option monitor session 3 destination fa0 slash 3 question mark ingress vlan 88 means whatever traffic is coming from that machine which is connected on port 3 that should be tagged with vlan 88 okay so show run interface fa0 slash 3 let me see now show monitor session 3 see now it is saying ingress enabled default vlan 88 okay but make sure that this port it should have this vlan show interface 0 slash 3 switch port actually right now it is 1 but make sure that you have this uh, port configured with that vlan switch port access vlan 88 okay show monitor session 3 now 88 is there so this is how you can uh, configure monitor sessions for capturing of data because many time you will get into uh, calls where people will say I want network team to monitor and see what packets are being transmitted uh, on my server port okay in that case you should know how to create span ports Alright friend, it is very easy thing but should know how to do it. So as a recap, we can mention the source as interface in any direction. We can mention the source as VLAN in any direction. And destination port has to be within the switch. And you can also tag the incoming traffic. So I hope you liked this lecture. Thank you so much.